that typical sci-fi movie that's about the future and about how the human race is out of control. In the annals of science fiction cinema, Soylent Green stands as a stark and haunting exploration of a dystopian future. Released in 1973 and directed by Richard Fleischer, the film is based on Harry Harrison's 1966 novel, Make Room. Make Room. Set in the year 2022, a time that once seemed distant but is now part of our past, Soylent Green presents a grim vision of an overpopulated and environmentally degraded world. The narrative unfolds in a future New York City where the consequences of unchecked population growth and ecological decline have reshaped society. The majority of the population relies on processed food rations manufactured by the Soylent Corporation, the leading provider of sustenance in this grim reality. The film's protagonist, Detective Robert Thorne, portrayed by Charlton Heston, becomes embroiled in a murder investigation that unravels a shocking secret about the Soylent Green food product. At the heart of Soylent Green is a commentary on overpopulation and its far-reaching consequences. The film presents a world where the Earth's resources are stretched to their limits, leading to scarcity, poverty, and societal breakdown. The concept of overpopulation, a prevalent concern during the 1970s, is woven into the fabric of the narrative, reflecting fears and anxieties about the sustainability of human growth on our planet. The setting of the film resonates with a Malthusian perspective, named after economist Thomas Malthus, who posited that unchecked population growth would inevitably lead to famine and societal collapse. In Soylent Green, the consequences of overpopulation are palpable, the streets are overcrowded, living conditions are deplorable, and societal unrest simmers beneath the surface. The filmmakers use this backdrop to craft a cautionary tale about the importance of addressing population growth and its impact on the environment. The Soylent Corporation, a fictional megacorporation in the film, becomes a symbol of unchecked corporate power and its exploitation of desperate circumstances. In a world struggling to feed its teeming masses, Soylent presents itself as a savior, providing convenient and supposedly nutritious food alternatives. However, as the narrative unfolds, it becomes evident that Soylent's true nature is far more sinister. The revelation at the heart of Soylent Green is a cinematic bombshell that has echoed through popular culture for decades. As Detective Thorne digs deeper into the mystery surrounding the murder of a wealthy industrialist, he stumbles upon the horrifying truth, Soylent Green is not made from plankton, as the corporation claims, but from processed human remains. The shocking line, Soylent Green is people, delivered by Charlton Heston, has become an iconic moment in film history, encapsulating the film's underlying theme of corporate deception and moral degradation. Listen to me, Hatcher! You gotta tell him, Silent Green is people! We gotta stop him, somehow! Silent Green is people! Silent Green is made of people! The twist in the plot serves as a potent metaphor for the ethical compromises made in the pursuit of profit and power. Soylent Corporation's willingness to exploit the vulnerable, turning human beings into a commodity for mass consumption, speaks to broader concerns about the moral consequences of unchecked corporate influence. The film prompts viewers to reflect on the potential dangers of prioritizing profit over ethics in a world grappling with resource scarcity. Soylent Green also addresses environmental degradation as a consequence of overpopulation and industrialization. The earth depicted in the film is a desolate landscape, marked by pollution, rising temperatures, and a dwindling capacity to sustain life. The filmmakers present a cautionary tale about the environmental consequences of unbridled human activity, a message that resonates even more strongly today amid ongoing debates about climate change and sustainability. The character of Sol Roth, played by Edward G. Robinson in his final film role, adds a poignant layer to the narrative. As Thorne's elderly companion, Sol provides a window into a past world where nature was still vibrant and life was not defined by scarcity. Sol's decision to end his own life, choosing euthanasia over a continued existence in the bleak present, serves as a poignant commentary on the loss of a once thriving planet. While Soylent Green is often remembered for its shocking revelation, the film's strength lies in its ability to merge social commentary with gripping storytelling. The dystopian future depicted in the film serves as a cautionary tale, urging audiences to consider the implications of unchecked population growth, corporate greed, and environmental degradation. 
The film's resonance has endured over the years, with its themes remaining relevant in contemporary discussions about the challenges facing our planet. In conclusion, Soylent Green is a cinematic masterpiece that transcends its genre, delving into the depths of societal and environmental issues. Its exploration of overpopulation, corporate exploitation, and environmental collapse remains as relevant today as it was in 1973. As we navigate a world grappling with similar concerns, Soylent Green serves as a timeless reminder of the consequences of neglecting the health of our planet and the ethical responsibilities that come with technological and industrial advancements. The film challenges us to reflect on our own actions and consider the trajectory of our society, asking the crucial question, are we heading towards a future where the unthinkable becomes reality?